everyone you're welcome to solve this nice algebra problem which is x minus 4 raised to the power 4 this is equal to x to the power 4 what is the value of x now let's provide a solution here here we have x minus 4 raised to the power 4 this is equal to x to the power 4 so the first step is to take x to the power 4 on the left hand side so that we have x minus 4 raised to the power 4 then subtract x to the power 4 this is equal to 0 now we can express x minus 4 to the power 4 as x minus 4 raised to the power 2 then raised to the power 2 here subtract x to the power 4 which you can express as x to the power 2 raised to the power 2 so this is equal to 0 now, you find that this equation is in the form of a squared minus b squared, which is the difference of two perfect squares, which we can express as a plus b, then a minus b. Now, from this equation, we have that a is equal to x minus 4 squared, and we have that b is equal to x to the power 2. So this implies that a plus b, this is equal to x minus 4 squared, then plus x squared. Let's call this equation 1. We have that a minus b, this is equal to x minus 4 squared, subtract x to the power 2. Let's call this equation 2. So let's start to solve equation 1 and 2. I can call equation 1 case 1. So we have that x minus 4 squared plus x squared. This is equal to 0. From this equation here, we have that x minus 4 squared. This is in the form of a minus b squared. This is equal to a squared plus b squared subtract 2 times a b so this implies that from what you have here this is x squared subtract 8x then plus negative 4 squared which is 16 then plus x squared this is equal to 0 so x squared plus x squared this is 2x squared then subtract 8x then plus 16 this is equal to 0 the next step let's divide both signs by 2 so 2x squared divided by 2 this is x squared minus 8x divided by 2 this is 4x then plus 16 divided by 2 this is 8 this is equal to 0 so this is a quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c this is equal to zero from this quadratic equation a is equal to one b is equal to minus four and c is equal to eight now to solve for x1 and x2 from this equation we apply the quadratic formula that minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus four times a times c over 2 times a substituting the values of a b and c then we have here minus minus 4 plus or minus the square root of b squared which is minus 4 squared subtract 4 then times a which is 1 then times c which is 8 everything here divided by 2 so this implies here we have minus times minus 4, this is 4, plus or minus the square root of minus 4 squared, this is 16, subtract 8 times 4, this is 32, then all this divided by 2. So here we have minus 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 32, this is minus 16 over 2. So now, 
This implies that here we have minus 4 plus or minus. We can express the square root of minus 16 as the square root of 16 times minus 1 over 2. So here we have minus 4 plus or minus the square root of 16. This is actually equal to 4. The square root of minus 1, this is i, then divided by 2. Now, from here, we have that 2 is common here, so we can factor out 2. So here we have minus 2, plus or minus 2i, then everything here, divided by 2. So let's simplify here by 2, by 2, so that x1, comma x2, this is equal to negative 2, plus or minus 2i. Now, these are two complex solutions here. These are two complex solutions from case 1. Let's proceed to case 2. Now, from case 2, case 2 we have x minus 4 raised to power 2, then subtract x squared. This is equal to 0. This implies that here we have x squared minus 8x, then plus 16, subtract x squared, this is equal to 0. Now, x squared minus x squared, this part simplifies, so we have minus 8x plus 16, this is equal to zero so we have here minus 8x let's take plus 16 on the right hand side so this becomes minus 16 so let's divide both sides by negative 8 and also here we have minus 8 so we have that x here is equal to now let's simplify 16 divided by 8, this is equal to 2. So we have x is equal to, is equal to 2. So we have that, we have three solutions here. We have two complex solutions, that is minus 2 plus or minus 2i. And we have only one real solution here, which is 2. So let's verify that these two satisfies the equation. Now, let's verify that x, which is equal to 2, satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall here, we end that x minus 4 raised to power 4. This is equal to x to power 4. Substituting the value of x, which is equal to 2, here we have 2 minus 4 raised to power 4. This is equal to 2 to power 4. So 2 minus 2 here, 2 minus 4, this is minus 2 raised to power 4. This is equal to 2 to power 4. So minus 2 to power 4, this is the same thing as 16, and 2 to power 4 is 16. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this clearly indicates that the value of x, which is equal to 2, satisfies the equation. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and subscribe. See you in the next video.